So if you're a one, I want you to chart how many first serves Andy gets. Oh, sorry, I should have put a one there. So that's ones. That's all you need to do. You just have tally mark it. So every time he gets a first serve in, go boom. Yeah, and sorry, what you also need to do is also tally mark how many points are played. Right, so you can work out your percentages. If you're a two, you're going to work out how many times when he gets his uh, first serve in, does he win the point? Points won on first serve. Okay, points won on first serve. If you're a number three, you're going to tally up how many times he's still in charge of the point after the third shot of the rally. And this is all his serve, by the way. It's 14 points in total. He, he will serve, and you just need to have a, an eye and kind of go, he was in charge or he wasn't. If you're 50-50, it's your call, right? So that is um, he was in charge after three shots. And that will always be Ander, uh, Ander, Andy who hits the third ball. If you're number four, what you're going to chart is the rally length of every point. And then to get your average, you just obviously divide it by the total number. So, obviously, right, rally length. So if it's an ace, it's one. Yep. And number fives, what you are going to chart is, oh, I'll give you the tough one. You're going to chart how many times he is able to stop before he hits the ball. Right? So if you're fives, hands up if you're five. Yeah, so every time you see him like stop before he hits the ball, just go to to to. Yes, you probably got the hardest job. You have to keep your eyes peeled. I'll stop it in between. But who do you think had the easiest job there? What number? Ones. Yeah, ones just had to do first serves. No, you do is like so first serve. No, yeah, so that's easy. Points one on first serves, quite easy. You just go. First serve went in, tick, W, whatever. Third, who's, who's in charge after third shot? That's more of a judgment call. You need to have trained eyes to kind of see who's in charge. If it's 50-50, who, like, who do you think? If it's 50-50, who's in charge on serve? The server is, because you started the point. You're dancing to your tune. So even if it looks like the momentum is 50-50, the server's in charge. It's like Q&A. I ask you the first question, you respond. I've asked you another question. If it's still 50-50, I'm, I'm the one dictating. Um, rally length, it's quite easy. You just have to listen. One, two, three, yep. And then the last one was uh, behind, I should call that behind the ball. What, was that hard? Yeah. Because you get wrapped up in the point. You kind of get, your, your eyes wander. So now the point of this is, and that, what I did was, I was doing it all at once. So when I used to tour, Charting was my thing. I'm a bit of a geek, a bit of an introvert by nature. So I quite like stats and facts and whatever. But Joanna was the player, the first player that I really went to town on all this. And we did it in training. And I don't mean match stats, but just we measured everything. Because, remember Joanna? What was she like? Always pushing herself down. So I had to prove to her how good she was. So that is my call to arms, if you like, for, for us as parents is if you like to watch your players compete, i.e. challenge themselves, test themselves, if you are into it, start just collating facts. So if they come off and they go, serve so quick today, like this, you go, what was your first serve percentage? And they go, I don't know, how you got any in? You go, yeah, 57% first serves in, it's not bad, 60 is pretty good, 65 is great, anything above 65, you're a legend. Yeah, 57% actually not too bad, yeah. If they are uh, working on something with the coaches, this is where the dream team comes together, the coach and the parent and the coaches, we know what it's like now, we can't go to tournaments as much and it's going to get worse. Um, so the parents, we need you to actually go uh, maybe work with the coach and say, what's the one thing you'll be working on? And it might be that ball three, getting behind the ball in ball three. That just means kind of being set and, and playing. And all you just go, every time they got the first serve in, they were in charge. Well, the second serve, no, they weren't in charge. Does that mean we need to work on the second serve or does it mean we need to work on repositioning after the serve? I'm speaking more coachy stuff there. But you see that you get the idea. We need facts. And also, 
because we're, we need them to be process-driven, how do we role model? We want them to be pro- if, we, if I want you to stand tall, I stand tall. If I want you to be taken, I, I role model it. We mirror by nature. If I want you to be process-driven, what am I going to do? I'm going to get in a process. So you can't be like, it's like, focus! Focus! Don't relax! <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you can't be like that. If you say, right, I just want you to be in the moment, you have to be in the moment. Yeah? If you don't like watching them compete, find a way. Because that, for me, is not a solution. You know, you get some people say, oh, I can't, I'm behind the bush. I can't even watch. I can't even watch. It's like the fact that they know that you can't watch is still an issue. Yeah? Well, you have to... Well, it's just you have, to, you have to find a way. It's like if they know that you're there just to turn in that whole perspective thing and there's no judgment and whatever, then it's just, it takes a while. But it's just we have, we have to have facts. Yeah, we have to have facts. We cannot allow our children to be in such a demanding sport and just go on things like result or how tight the score was or how they felt because they will, feel, they will tell us a pack of lies Seven, six in the third set, after three hours, they win. What did you do wrong? No, I was nails today. Seven, six in the third set, after three hours, they lose. What did you do wrong? Twelve pages of notes yeah, on a couple of points here or there. So win or lose, they need to evaluate their performance. And that's, you know, we, can, we could do a day on that. Now, 